Look at this red kangaroo. This bad boy looks so buffed up that you will not bet against him in a fight. If you are watching this video, Sam, this is what happens when you don't miss leg day. Many people outside of Australia come to think of kangaroos as an adorable hippity hoppity animal, but they are unaware of its wild side, the wild side that comes alive when they come across a dog. Today, we will talk about the fraught relationship between kangaroos and dogs, and why exactly do kangaroos hate dogs so much? Perhaps no other Australian animal is as iconic as the kangaroo. While there are more than 60 species of kangaroos, today we will look at the red kangaroos, also known as the Big Red. An adult male kangaroo can reach up to 6 feet in length and weigh anywhere around 200 pounds. This towering presence and big muscles means that the kangaroos are no pushovers. In the wild, there are only three things that a kangaroo won't like to see. Another male kangaroo, a dog, and a man. Especially a man on a paraglider. It is understandable why a male kangaroo would not like to see another male, because it sees the other as competition for lovemaking. And as for humans, well, we're more responsible for pushing more than a million animals and plants towards extinction, so it's no wonder why kangaroos aren't very fond of us. But why exactly do these bouncy kangaroos hate dogs? Well, the problem is twofold. Firstly, dogs are curious animals, and they like to sniff everything and anything. Usually, the first reaction of a kangaroo on spotting a dog is to flee away, but at times when the kangaroo fails to see a way out, it is left with no other choice but to face the problem head on. Moreover, the terrifying barks of an approaching dog is enough to sound alarm bells inside a kangaroo's brain. The second reason responsible for this hate relationship with kangaroos and dogs is dingoes. For those of you unaware, dingo is an ancient lineage of dog found in Australia. Thinking about petting this good boy? Stop right there, because dingoes are wild dogs and not at all suitable to be kept as pets. Dingoes are medium-sized dogs who possess incredible speed, agility, and stamina. All of these abilities make Dingo the apex predator of Australia. These wolf-like cannons often hunt in packs and are capable of bringing down prey as big as feral pigs and red kangaroos. Basically, kangaroos and dogs are not made for each other. Dogs often end up spooking the kangaroos, and in return, the scared kangaroo sometimes decides to attack. Once engaged in a duel with a dog, the feisty kangaroo uses three techniques to scare away these potential predators, the first of which is the most unique. Kangaroos are known to run away and take shelter inside a pond or a water body. Now, on first look, it may seem like the kangaroo has been surrounded and the game is over for the poor fella, but you cannot be more wrong. Kangaroos are strong, have sharp claws, and are way taller than a normal dog. In situations like these, kangaroos make complete use of their height advantage and tower over the opponent in order to scare them. Kangaroos use this technique with other predators as well. Once inside the pond, the attacking ability of the dog is severely limited. The kangaroo will make use of its forelimbs to tightly grasp the dog and then sink it underwater. Banjo, a Rhodesian Ridgeback, was killed this way in Queensland when it tried to attack the kangaroo hiding in the pond. Wildlife experts believe that the real reason behind kangaroos entering water bodies is to not drown their attacker, but to wait inside for long enough that the attacker loses interest and goes away. But when push comes to shove, kangaroos will make you regret entering the water after them. The second technique involves big kangaroos holding off their attacker with their forelegs and then using their big sharp hind claws to destroy their opponent. Look at this example where the kangaroo is holding the dog by his face and deciding his next move. Thankfully for the poor dog, his owner came to the rescue and punched the evil kangaroo back to the abyss. For those of you worrying about the kangaroo, just know that the kangaroo is perfectly fine and didn't sustain any real damage from the punch. The third and last technique that a kangaroo uses to scare away their predators is by using their hind legs to deliver a powerful kung fu kick. In a battle royale for the most powerful animal, a red kangaroo is going to win this contest of its bone-shattering kick. The kick can deliver at least 800 pounds of force and be potentially life-threatening for the recipient. Always remember, when you see a kangaroo in a boxing stance, it's better to run away than engaging the animal. 
Despite all these techniques, there are many instances where dogs are able to maul these poor vegetarians to death. Dog owners in Australia should think twice before letting their pet dogs off the leash. Their decision may end up badly for either of the animals. In ancient times, kangaroos used to have many predators in Australia, but over time, most of them have become extinct. Currently, only two species account for most kangaroo deaths, wild dingoes and men. Large kangaroos are one of the most favorite preys of dingoes, and after sighting their desired prey, dingoes will start their attack in large numbers. Sometimes up to 10 dingoes are involved in chasing a single large kangaroo. The dingoes will take turns in chasing the kangaroo. These hunts are in no easy game. Red kangaroos can reach up to speeds of 25 miles per hour and can make leaps as big as 25 feet. In order to chase down this marsupial, dingoes need to put in more than 100% effort. The leading dingo will chase the kangaroo in the direction of its other mates, who will be waiting for the right moment and attack the kangaroo at the best possible moment. After some time, the kangaroo becomes exhausted and falls prey to the ever-hungry dingoes. If you feel this is too much work, then you're not the only one. In recent years, dingoes have started attacking livestock, for they are easy to hunt and plenty to come in for farmlands of Australia. In the 1800s, a 5,000-kilometer-long massive fence was built to protect the agriculturally important Southwest Australia from the dingo gangs. But guess what? No fence is big or strong enough to keep this clever dog away from the cattle. Dingoes surely enjoy these ready-to-eat meals, but this is not good for everyone. Australian farmers face huge losses because of dingoes attacking their livestock. Their attacks on kangaroos may not be pleasing to the eye, but they are a balancing force in Australia. And if you still think that dingoes are bad for hunting kangaroos, then you will be surprised to know that they are not the reason behind most kangaroo deaths in Australia. Man, the smartest animal on planet Earth kills more than 3 million kangaroos every year in Australia. The population of kangaroos in Australia is anywhere between 50 to 60 million. Their growing population and shrinking forests means that humans and kangaroos come in contact with each other. Innumerable numbers of kangaroos die every year in car accidents, and an even greater number of kangaroos are killed every year for their meat. Maybe the kangaroos are taking revenge on humans by attacking their beloved pets. In recent years, the trend of kangaroo attacks on dogs as well as humans is on the rise, mainly due to the fault of the latter two, who encroach into the land of kangaroos. <laughs>